Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a WordPress 404 page. And this is the current 404 page I use on my site. I change it all of the time. It's basically a 404 page. is just a page that people are sent to whenever they ask for a web page on your site that doesn't exist. And what my site just simply does is puts up a goofy picture, and it lists all 499 articles that are on my site currently, which is going to be 500 after today. While you don't need to understand the previous tutorial that I was doing on the WordPress news theme to take advantage of creating a 404 page of your own. This is what that currently looks like. I haven't edited any of it yet. So in this tutorial, I'm going to fix everything you see on the right side of the screen. This is the current 404.php file that I'm using. And as you can see, it doesn't do much. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and get rid of that right there. And then I'm going to call for my sidebar code. And how you do that inside of WordPress is called git sidebar. And I'm going to put in first inside of here. And the reason I do that, if you didn't see the previous tutorial, is I called my sidebar sidebar file that I'm going to be pulling code in sidebar dash first. So inside of WordPress, if you want to target that specific sidebar, you have to call git sidebar and then put in the word that follows the dash after sidebar for that file, which is again sidebar dash first. So that's the name of my sidebar code that I'm going to be pulling in. So that's how you do that in WordPress if you didn't see the previous tutorials. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a div and I'm going to call it main content. Make sure you put both the quotes inside of there. And then I'm going to pull in an image and I'm basically going to pull this image in right here. So I'm just going to click on this, go copy image URL is equal to, and I'm going to paste that inside of there. So there's my image all ready to go to be put on the screen. Give it a value of 700 for width. And I'm going to give it an alt equal to page not bound. I'm going to close off that image tag. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another div. And then on the next line, I'm going to make a call to PHP. I'm going to go echo. Sorry. I'm making exactly what's on the right side of the screen here now. I can't find that page. And then of course, I'm going to list out on the screen just a bunch of articles that I have on my site being 499 currently, which I was surprised to see. And I'm going to close off the div that I created. Then I'm going to retrieve the number of published posts. So all the number that represents all of the currently published posts on my site. So I'm going to create a variable called numPost is equal to. And if I want to find out how many posts are currently published, this is how you do it. Real simple. Call that function WP count posts followed by dash bracket publish. And that's going to return the total number of published posts. And then if I want to format in case there are thousands of them, first I'm going to check to make sure that number of posts actually has a value, which is very important. And if it does, I'm going to make the value of numbered posts equal to, and I'm going to call number format. And all that does is puts in commas in the case of there being thousands of posts. That's it. So it's just like a little formatting thing. And then I'm going to close off the PHP right like that. And then I'm going to create a header. I'm going to open PHP up again. I'm going to say echo check out the followed by number of posts articles below. And then I'm going to close off my PHP code again. And then I'm going to close off that header tag. Take the J out of there. And then I'm going to create an unordered list. I'm going to give it an ID equal to archive list, make a call to PHP, and then I'm going to retrieve all of the posts that are currently published. And I'm going to give myself some extra space here. In WordPress, if you want to return all of the posts that are currently available, I'm going to create a variable called my posts. Function that you would call is called git posts. And then you say number posts, and you pass it the value of negative one. And then it will return all of the published posts. And then I'm just going to cycle through them. So I'm going to go for each my posts as post colon inside of there. Close down the PHP section. And then I'm going to create a list. And I'm going to call PHP again. And I'm going to put in the time here. Month, day, year colon inside of there. Followed by I'm going to create a link. So open up PHP. The permalink is a function that's going to return the address for the post. Colon, and I'm going to reopen PHP, and the title is going to return the title for the post. Close off PHP again, close off the link, close off the list item, or maybe I want to do that here so it's formatted a little bit nicer. Reopen PHP, and then you want to end the for each loop, close off the PHP, close off the unordered list, close off the div. Leave footer in there exactly as it is right now, and if we file save that, jump over here and reload it. You can see that it did exactly as I wanted, except there's a little bit of space up here. No problem. I can just come in here, throw in a break statement. But what the heck? Let's throw in two, file save, reload it, 
and there's a little bit of space thrown in there. So that's how you make a WordPress 404 page. Down below is all the code if you'd like it. You can do whatever you want with it. As well as there's a link to a bunch of really cool 404 pages that are available online. Leave any questions or comments below otherwise. Till next time.